All right, guys, welcome back to the next video. It is the morning. It's Saturday morning. Good morning. And for those of you that saw my comment in the community section here on the channel, you'll know that I'm getting ready to go to another ship. However, this time I have to fly down to Texas and the company will have us in a hotel, go to the ship the following day, which will be Sunday. So I'm going to call an Uber in just a few moments and head over to the airport here in Norfolk, Virginia. So I'm all ready to go. Uh, about another 20 minutes, I'm going to leave here. So I'll be at the airport. Then I'll go down to Atlanta. A couple hours later, catch a flight on to Houston, Hobby Airport. And then uh, the, air, uh, the hotel is right by the airport there. So I'll be there overnight, just relax, and then go to the ship tomorrow. So it's a different ship. I'm working with the same company, guys. Uh, it's a different ship, though. Totally different. So uh, go to a lot of different ports, probably. Maybe. I don't know yet. I uh, have no idea. Totally different thing for me. Something different. So kind of looking forward to trying something different and going to some different places. Hopefully get some content. And so we're going to leave in a few minutes here, and I will see you guys at the airport. All right, guys. So I'm outside here. I got an Uber on the way. Six more minutes. I'll be in the Uber. Head down to Norfolk International. It's about a 20, 25-minute drive. So and we'll go get checked in there check our bags in and then go to the terminal and i think it's terminal b i think and then we'll just wait for the plane and then we'll head down to atlanta all right guys so i've went through security here um gotta go look for my gate I'm in the B terminal here. I'm not sure which number it is, but it's usually down at the very end when I fly down to Atlanta. So I'm going to go find the gate. I got here early. Um, you normally don't have to do that here, but it's really early in the morning, so I didn't need to get here super early. So I'll be at the gate in just a minute and got plenty of extra time to head down to Atlanta. All right, guys, so I got about an hour and 45 minutes, actually more time than I anticipated. At this airport, Norfolk International, it's not a big airport. You don't generally need the you know normal two hours uh, time in advance. If you get here like an hour, hour and 15 minutes before your flight, normally you're good. Keeping in mind that half hour before the flight time is usually boarding. So I'm just gonna relax a little bit. And then I got a two hour layover down Atlanta. Doesn't take long to get to the next uh, plane there either, about 30 minutes. So should be an easy day, nothing rush, rush, rush. guys so I made it to the Atlanta airport I'm in the A terminal and actually I have to go to for the next flight to the B terminal so I just go to the middle go down the escalator take the train one terminal and I'll get to my next gate and just chill there I just got off the train. You know this airport is huge. I think it's like one of the busiest airports in the world, but when you know the airport pretty well here, it's like one of the easiest airports to navigate and get around. It's very, very easy and very quick. They have a train system. It's really nice. So I'm gonna go up and go to my gate. I just confirmed that, you know, my gate is still the same, no changes, but the app on Delta always gives you updates about that too. Everything looks good and on time. Get off the train. You take it to the terminal where you need to go next for your connecting flight and you just go up this big escalator here. Here you go. And now I'm in the B terminal. I gotta go to B34. That would take a long time to walk. But uh, it's very, very quick with the train. And B34. So I gotta go this way. And I'll be there in just a minute. So from A to B and a train ride, the whole thing takes me like less than 10 minutes. Absolutely awesome. Great airport. So my gate is all the way at the end of B, B34. So I just walked down there, but I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee because I haven't had any coffee today. And I don't wanna get a headache. So I'm gonna head down there. I still got at least another hour and a half, so I'm doing really, really good on time. So I found a little place here to get a coffee. Actually, I got a cappuccino. That ought to wake me up. I got another hour. So I'm just going to walk around and 
look outside and watch the airplanes land and take off. I like to do that. And I'll drink my cappuccino and then one more hour we'll head down to Houston. So I know this might sound crazy, but I absolutely love this airport hanging out here. I've been through here a million times and I got my cappuccino. So I'm better. Uh, living my best life. So gotta have my coffee. But this time I got some cappuccino, so I'm gonna go back to B34 and just chill for like an hour. And then I got my plane and get down the hobby and I'll call the shuttle bus or find out where it's at for the hotel. And then tonight just kick back and chill. And then tomorrow we'll head over to the ship. Maybe I'll make a separate little vlog, but this is a different video. This is just a, a little vlog day here, travel day vlog. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, all right, I'm gonna go chill at B34. the jets land and the air, airplane moving around the tarmac something I've always enjoyed so really nice viewing here you can see it all so I've got about another 40 minutes to go and then I'll be on the plane all right guys so I've arrived in Houston now uh, hobby airport just kind of go up here I've never been in this airport before I've been in a lot of different ones but not here so I gotta go look for my bag. This baggage claim is, says it's straight ahead here. So I'll get my bag and then I'm gonna call the hotel and see, or look for the local, the lo you know, the location where they have the, the shuttle bus. So I can take the shuttle bus over to the hotel, which is really close. So they have a shuttle. So I just gotta find out where that's at. And then we'll head over there and get settled in for the night and relax. Okay. It's a nice airport. So the baggage claim, looks like I gotta go the other way here. I gotta go to the right. It says I gotta go this direction. And then uh, pretty soon I'll be there. All I gotta do is get my bags and go look for the shuttle. Alright guys, so I got my bags here. Every, that was really quick and easy. Uh, and the map was really easy to understand. Right here in zone three is where the metro buses are and the hotel shuttles. It's organized pretty well here. So I got my bags and I'll just wait a few minutes for the shuttle. If I don't see one, I'll just call the hotel and ask them to send one over. And we should be there momentarily in just a few minutes. And then we'll take a look at the room when I get there. Okay, so guys, I called just to err on the side of caution. I called the hotel. The lady said, yeah, you do call because I guess they don't just run in circles wasting gas unless somebody needs the shuttle. So the shuttle bus will be here just uh, in a few minutes. The hotel is only 0.7 miles away from the airport here and I'm waiting in the correct spot. So the hotel shuttle will be here just a moment. We'll get over and get checked in and then we'll take a look at the room. Then I'll go look for some dinner and then we'll just relax tonight and get up uh, in the morning and try to get down to the ship. All right, guys, so I'm in the hotel now. I got my take my key. I gotta go up to the third floor and we'll go just relax for a little bit. Maybe I'll take a shower and then I'm gonna go probably have dinner because it's about that time. A little bit tired from running around the airport all day. So we're gonna go find my room, see where it's at. Okay, so it says I'm in room 305 at 314, 313. So I gotta go down the 
pretty much close to the end of the hallway here. This seems to be a pretty nice hotel. And uh, should be a comfortable night here. All right guys, let's go inside. I came in once with my bag. I just had to get one more little thing. So here we are. This is, like I said, the Hilton Garden Hotel. Massive TV, nice room. Looks very comfortable. I'll get all the lights on here in just a minute. And standard coffee, little microwave. Assuming this is a mini fridge, yes. And your standard stuff in every hotel, safe, ironing board. And here's the, the restroom. So nice. So pretty good, yeah, this would be comfortable. So like I said, I'm just gonna turn the TV on here. Maybe I'll jump and take a nice warm shower, you know, a day of hitting a couple airplanes, a couple airports. Makes you feel a little bit tired a little bit, but not tired, tired. But uh, I'll just wanna go relax a few minutes and then I'm gonna go downstairs. The restaurant is open. And like I say, we'll head down there in the morning and go down to the ship. I don't know how exactly long it will take to get there. So unfortunately, uh, there's no person gonna pick us up or anything. We have to handle that ourselves, but we'll be reimbursed for it. So it's a slight inconvenience, but it is what it is. So anyway, guys, this is the end of my day here. We're just gonna kick back and relax a little bit tonight. And then we will get out for dinner. All right, guys, so I relaxed a little bit. I'm all checked in at the hotel. I'm gonna run down the street. There's a Target. I need to get just a couple things that I didn't wanna travel with for the ship, just some soap and stuff. And I'll grab something to eat while I'm down there. Uh, I can just get some snacks there instead of go to the, re the restaurant here. It'll be more quick and simple. So I'm gonna head down there and then come back to the hotel. So we'll just call it uh, the end of this video and I'll try to make some video the first couple days on the ship, do a little vlog the first couple days, let you guys know how it's going. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little travel vlog coming along with me today from Virginia Beach down to Houston Hobby Airport, which is right across the street. And uh, give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video.